Welcome to the Zix TV. I am the Zix, and we're going to be looking at a very large Lego Galaxy Squad mock that I built in 2014. This is the command bug for the insectoids, the Zemdari Empire, and the uh, transport bug is the standard star destroyer of my galaxy squad story this is the super star destroyer the battlestar galactica of the zamdari fleet and it is at least twice as big as the transport bug so up front we have our command bridge with the, uh, the canopy here. We have some simulated mandibles and an imposing look to this massive starship. It's a it's it's a space going fortress and also a uh, colony ship, a self sustaining colony ship. And there are four heavy stinger cannons up front. And these are on the ball joints in the in the green sockets, and they can move in a variety of directions. And they shoot a laser. <laughs> Yellowish green laser. Four of those up front. This thing is big. How am I going to turn this? Let's see if I can. This is the largest Lego mock I have ever created. It it takes up the entire board that I usually use to show my Lego mocks. There's you can see the board and you can see the ship. It takes up the whole board. So, I'm going to try to rotate a little bit. And there is a side look at the heavy stinger cannons and the command bridge up front with that window piece embedded in there from the, uh, it's from a Lego Atlantis set. We can see a bit inside from through there. And there's the uh, there's the side of the ship. Let's see if I can get. I have to pull back quite a bit. There's the uh, the front. And then on the sides we have a whole bunch of uh, the standard Stinger Cannon turrets and these are on little ball joints Let's see if I can get it yeah same design as for the transport bug uh, double black little clip thingy little black bracket thingy with the cannons on it topped with a uh, grill there and it uh, grabs on that little ball joint that little black thingy sticking out and you can position these in a variety of ways we've got some sticker detail on the sides there those are from there's quite a few Galaxy Squad sets that have them. Here's the Crater Creepers sticker sheet. Yeah. Uh, Star Slicer has a few of them. And 
think I mostly used them from these sticker sheets. But a lot of these sticker sheets. This is from the uh, what is that called? The Hive Prowler. And moving up top, we have some some more detail. I'm creating a shadow there. It's hard to maneuver without creating a shadow. Yeah, getting in the way of the light. Let's see if I can pull it towards me further. Got some details up there. And this middle part is is part of one of these stickers. So it doesn't quite fit the design. It kind of cuts off a little bit there, but uh, I did the best I could with it. So it, it, it fades, fades in, and then fades out. And these are missile launcher batteries. And it can move up. I built these along the same design as the Galaxy Squad um, bug obliterator. It has a ground vehicle with an array that's very much like this. They use different pieces. I just use different pieces to, to cover it up. And there it is. You push those in and it launches the missiles. So I created some missile launching batteries. And we got some sticker detail on the black parts. So these can be positioned and aimed in a variety of directions. Although the missiles will lock on to their target, so it doesn't require much by way of aiming. We have two of those. Missile, missile launchers on top. We have an array of stinger cannons on the side, and these can be set to... Uh, point defense. They will automatically target and shoot down incoming missiles before they hit the ship. And they can also be set to uh, auto turret. The pilot or co-pilot will set them to uh, target a point on an enemy ship that they want to hit and they just fire away. The uh, Heavy stinger cannons up front have a low, um, are very damaging, but they have a have a low rate of fire. And the standard stinger cannon turrets have a fast rate of fire, but they're not as damaging. And then we got uh, the side of our living area along the side there with the domes. Those are from one there you can only get those in one set. Uh, an Atlantis set. The um, Atlantis Exploration HQ or something like that. Bought lots of these on uh, Bricklink for this very purpose. Because I already used a bunch from for the uh, transport form. maneuver this and we have some skylights on the top and creating a shadow I will have to adjust my position here and we have some more sticker detail up there with the hexagons and a couple more point defense cannons. We've got the uh, insectoid logo, their insignia on the side. A 
it's made with uh, warp stinger stickers these go on the side of a tail fin like that and I cut off part of the sticker and then put it onto this panel here and then you do the other side so it's two different stickers forming this this wing design here with the hexagons the wings are shield projectors we have wings on both sides in the back here and they project the shields around the ship uh, this has the same shield strength as a transport bug or I guess I should say that the transport bug has the shield strength of a command bug let's put it that way moving on we have some the transport bug has the uh, circle circular um, build in the back from the hive crawler and I sort of expanded on that that idea and gave it some some fins that stick out in the back I'm going to try to look at the back now the engine block And we have two large engines on this ship. Let's see if I can show this. We have two large engines. And this was a complicated uh, idea using those, lining up those up in the, in the middle of these rings. Uh, these are umbrellas in the, the, the transparent pink color. They're from a couple of friend sets. So check out those friend sets. They're useful. Look what you can do with them. Well, parts from them. Let's put it that way. And we have some, you know, some of the standard engine elements from the transport bug on the side there. So a little bit different from the transport bug. And we have our tail fins. Mostly uh, decorative. And I'm not sure what all this is. It goes down the back. It's just detail. I'm not sure if these uh, green parts are windows but uh, I liked them and I wanted to use them in the construction of this this model and I knew I would have to fill in this center area with something this, this whole center area needed to be filled in with, with, with something going up to where the uh, skylights begin so I kinda did some Not sure what it's supposed to be, it's just detail. And that is the engine block. It's designed along the same idea as the transport bug except uh, larger we, we have these two parts that that dip in there these, these white parts with the uh, designs on them on both sides those can be flipped up once the ship is opened Let's see if I can the tail fins sticking out on the sides there and there 
here's a look at the other side of the ship going up to the front this uh, this model does not have panels that uh, open up so that you can get a good inside I designed it the same way as the transport bug it has a removable roof so all this here going all the way to the front and this, this panel f flips open so this this whole section here this roof that covers the whole thing can be uh, it can slide off same as the uh, transport bug except larger So to open it up, I am going to have to go to the stable camera because it takes two hands and I'm holding the camera in this hand here. So I will be just a moment. I am back with the stable camera so that my hands are free. Let's push this forward just a bit. This thing is really big. So we open up the front panel that covers up the command bridge and then I have to go like that and there is our roof and there goes the missile battery on its turntable there it is Here is the underside, built very much like the uh, transport bugs roof. These pillars in the middle, can you see those? Yeah, those pillars sticking down. go along this ridge right here they they sit right there so lining it up there it goes Yeah. and it's got that little wall in the back on either side and it's got two middle sections that go through we can see the skylights but I'll drop this it's got two middle sections that go through with the uh, little bar thing there and we got two of these I'm not sure what those are two of those so the the, the roof fits in here a little bar goes in there and then there are angled parts at the bottom of the roof that fit into these little oops yikes knocked off part of the there fit into these uh, little angled ridges there 
and back there. This part here. And moving to the back, that part there. This roof is very big. This ship is very, very big. Kind of overdid it on this one. So to show the interior, I'm going to go back to the free-floating camera so that I can uh, show all the detail and everything. I will be right back. I am back, and I have turned the ship around. So I'm going to turn it so that we can see the command bridge. And I'm creating a, a shadow. And it, it's uh, very much the same as the transport bug. We've got our pilot, our co-pilot, there's Redbug in his uh, command chair, he is the commander. And then we got a workstation off to the side, either side, lots of uh, stickers and the printed printed pieces and these are parts of stickers used together on either side there and I did did a lot with these places on the side there. Did a lot of uh, cutting off parts of stickers to, to get all those buttons on there. Hexagons and stuff. And this guy off to the side is looking at a uh, target reticule. And he's got some kind of wavy display over there that shows the power output of the cannons. There's a guy on that side. So there's a guy on either side. And each guy controls these um, main stinger cannons, these heavy stinger cannons. can aim them off to the side or keep them aiming forward. And then we have a weapons rack near the floor there. Some uh, stickers from the from the Gungan sub Star Wars Gungan sub sticker sheet. Used a lot of these. For detail. I'm not sure what all that is. It could be lighting panels, but it looks alien and different. It's, it's uh, looks alien. So it could be lighting panels or indicator lights or something else. It's these. A whole bunch of those little stickers and the, the longer ones on the walls and the dark gray parts are this thing this thing is the thing of beauty because you have a a, a panel that you've made like 
like this panel, this wall panel here that I built for to be the wall. Instead of using, instead of building bricks, I built built sideways, and it's connected to the the side there, and. And these go go in there and they create a solid surface. So you line a bunch of those next to each other. Put some stickers on there for, for detail. And then you have and you can you can have a uh, smooth wall. And you could, you know, if you have more of them, you could even line them up above. But I like this. I like this piece, so I collected a bunch of them. And this is a really nice thing that it can be used for if you're building a wall and you see the bottom of the the plates that are used to. Uh, you see the bottom of the plates. This fits underneath. It has a uh, smooth surface so that you can put stickers on it for for detail. And instead of just having the uh, the underside of the plates showing. So he's looking at that the targeting reticule there. And back here we have some stinger guns and red bugs uh, energy energy blade and clips and some ladders and here is red bug let me see if I can here is red bug with his energy blade he's kind of a mixture of Darth Maul and Darth Vader he's the leader of the insectoids he guides them towards achieving their goals he's the leader of the Zemdari Empire and he's he's a badass guy It's not a lightsaber. It's a, it's an energy blade. It's a, it's a, a double-sided wing blade. Cause I use those little wings at the end. And that is all I'm going to show for now. Uh, we'll pick up in the next video and show the rest of the uh, details. Thank you for watching.